and my name's Reese from the Eastern Suburb School of Music. Today teaching you the guitar solo from the Kiss song Is That You, the first track off the Unmasked album. Sounds like this. <laughs> So let's break that down, show you what to play. Something to be aware of for this tune, it is in standard tuning. Most of the KISS catalogue is in flat tuning, E flat. Um, this one's in standard E, A, D, G, B and E. Uh, and that's just going off the studio recording here. Uh, it starts out, the first half of the solo, with a couple of country bends. So I'm doing these bends, ninth fret of third string, and use the dots on your fretboard to find that ninth fret. Third string will be the string that is being bent. If you haven't done string bends before, just click the little video tab appearing above me now. It will take you to my lesson on how to properly do string bends. So that's string bend at nine by a tone. And at the same time, hold down the 10th fret on 2nd string. 10th fret and 2nd string. So I'm pushing that bend up, supporting with a couple of fingers. And then moving this up to 11th fret and 12th fret. So this part just starts under the vocal. And then this one here, right at the start, the opening of the solo. The notes that follow that second bend, 11, 9 on the third string, 11 on fourth string, so 11 upper string, and then 9 on the third string. Bend. 11, 9, 3rd string, 11, 4th string, 9, 3rd string. So bend, 11, 9, up 11, 9. part. 11 on 4th string and 9, and back to your country bend at 11 and 12. And then the same tail as before, after the bend. So that was bend, 11, 9, 11 up a string, recommend throughout this video, do pause it at times, just get a couple of notes of the phrase at a time. Before you move on to each new section, the next part, power chords, a C sharp power chord, this is the fourth fret of fifth string. If you haven't played power chords, once again, just click the little video bar that's appearing above me that will take you to my lesson on power chords and how to play them. C sharp power chord twice and then straight up a string. Fourth fret of top string is where your first finger sits at G sharp. C sharp, G sharp. C sharp, G sharp. And that's the first half of the Is That You solo. Let me just play that a few times. Slow it down a bit now. Bend, bend. And there's part one of the Is That You solo. Second half of the Is That You solo, we've got 
some groups of four notes at a time. To start us off, our initial phrase. 12th fret on the third string, hammer on to 13. So 12, 13. If you haven't done the hammer on technique before, once again, little video bar just appearing above me, click that video, it'll take you to my lesson on how to do hammer ons. And then we get first finger flattening off to cover second string, then first string of 12th fret. So hammer 12, 13 on third string, second string 12, first string 12. Uh, like I said before, do pause this video at times. Just make sure you slowly get each phrase going before you move on to the next part. Part two of this half. We're now going to hit 13 on third string with my middle finger. Flatten out on 12th fret of string two, then one. Then hitting 15 on second string. 15 should have a dot on it as well, so easy to locate. So that is part two. I'm going to glue part one and part two together now. Leading into... big guitar hero bends at the end there. So to finish out this uh, second half of the Is That You solo, 13 again on the third string, 12 on the second string, then we're jumping up to 16th fret uh, on the first string, and just doing a half step bend. What that means is we're bending the string until it sounds like the pitch of the note that's just one fret higher. So at, at 16, but raising it to the pitch of the 17th fret note. Twice, and then just letting that 16 rest at its normal pitch. So bend, bend, return. At 16th fret of first string. And that completes all you need to know to play the Is That You guitar solo from the Kiss song off the Unmasked album. Let me just play the complete solo once again, a um, bit of a slow time to start out with. Power chords. And the second half I've just shown you. G-sharp power chord moving into A power chord. Fourth fret going into fifth fret of the top string. So the power chords at the end of the solo. G-sharp A before it goes into the last choruses. That's your solo. Good luck learning it. If you have learnt something out of this video, please click that thumbs up button uh, to give this video a like. Leave a comment if you've got a question, I'll answer it as soon as possible. And subscribe to this channel, the Eastern Suburbs School of Music here on YouTube. We've got over 30 KISS guitar solo lessons now for you and it's growing every week. I'm putting more and more up. Leave a request in the comments if you'd like a particular solo and I'll get around to making a video for it. Good luck learning the Is That You solo.